Keep falling back. Oh, hey, you missed. Hey, you missed. <laughs> you missed pretty bad. There we go. That one didn't miss. You missed pretty bad the first time. Yeah, I know. I didn't see the right place. <laughs> well, folks at home, we have had a warm front here in Texas today. It is, uh, what is it, November 30th? November 30th. And uh, it is hot. I'm in flip flops, short sleeve t shirt, and some AFCO fishing shorts. And let me tell you something it is probably 80, 85, maybe, maybe reaching 90 degrees. It is hot. And that means it is time for my dad and I to do our post Thanksgiving tradition of going fishing on our home lake of Lake Travis. So we're going to hitch up the boat that uh, is still for sale. So if you guys are interested, hit a, drop me an email below. The, uh, the Skeeter FX20 2019 boat is for sale still. By far the best one on the market for this price. So uh, drop me an email if you guys are interested in a brand, basically brand new boat. And uh, we'll see you guys on the water. All right. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Contrary to common belief, it actually gets cold here in Texas in the winters. Not as cold as it gets basically anywhere else besides Florida and Southern California. But it does get a little bit chilly. And so usually sunscreen is not required. But today it is. It feels good to be back on Lake Travis, my home lake. Haven't been here in five or six months, and I've heard the bite is on. I've heard they're biting underspins, they're biting uh, flashy swimmers, they're biting all sorts of shad imitation, maybe some jerk baits, some crank baits. I'm pumped. I'm pumped with a capital U. Pumped. We're gonna go way to the back of the creeks because that's where they are right now, even when it's this warm, but it's cold outside typically. <laughs> We're gonna go way back there and we're gonna catch some big ones. Listen to the man. He says we're gonna go way back there and we're gonna catch some big ones. So I believe him. Uh, let's go. We have made it to our first spot of the day. Yeah, the fish should be this time of the year, end of November. They should be all the way in the back of the creeks, about to pop, eat shad, and get the heck back to the main lake. So we're gonna idle back here. This whole cove here is his idle zone. So. We're gonna idle all the way back to the back of the cove. I'm gonna keep a, an eye on my graph to look for bait fish. One thing that I thought was uh, important in the fall is that you had to actually find fish feeding on bait fish. Not always the case. You just have to find the bait fish in the area and the bass should be close by. So I'm gonna idle till I start seeing some bait and strap the chest mount on. We'll see you guys on the water. Got him? Yep. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, bring him in. Let's go. Dad with the first fish. Hey, I told you we were going to get him. Boom, get him. Of course he did. Now we need big ones. That's not a big one. He didn't look at it. Oh, it's in the mouth, I guess. It's in, out, in. Oh, it. Is it out, in, out? Yeah, it's out. It's out, in, out. Get that blood out of here. He's throwing the Strike King underspin as soon as we got from a flat area back of a creek to the first bluff inside the creek. He got one. Did that fish like nibble on it yeah. and then finally yeah. take it? Okay. Well, look at that. Let me get my big camera. All right. I told you we were going to go to the back of the creek. We're going to throw an underspin in the shallows, right where the shallow meets the drop off mm. in the shade, between the shade and the sun. Boom. Boom. Let's give that one a release. Just a wee little guy. Oh, oh here he comes. Oh, there we go. There he goes. <laughs> Adios. Good stuff. First fish of the day. I'm going to go back to the jerk bait. Unless he catches one more on the underspin, then I'll do underspin. But success. Let's go. Mmm. Got him. Hey, oh. There they go. Boom, shakalaka. Jerk bait fish. Bye bye, amigo. Thanks for playing. We found a school of fish. Don't, hey, don't move. That's the one thing I've learned this past year about bait fish fish is you gotta stop moving. <laughs> It's our tendency as bass fishermen to keep going. As soon as you get a bite, you just keep going on the trolling motor. You gotta stay where you are. 
Dad got stuck. Yes, he did. Oh, now he's stuck on a tree over a cable. That's good. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, this channel is sponsored by Amphibia Sunglasses. You guys can use code TRF15 down below to get 15% off your own pair of sunglasses. Not only are they good polarized lenses to see in the water, they float. Look at that. They're floating right there. That's crazy. So you ain't got to worry anymore about your friend throwing your sunglasses in the water when he loses a 10-pounder. When your friend does that, you can say, hey, no biggie. I forgive you. And get your dang sunglasses back. They are catchable by jerkbait. <laughs> it is a great holiday gift for your husband, your boyfriend. Heck, they got plenty of ladies frames too. Maybe your girlfriend wants a pair of floating polarized fishing glasses. They're stylish, they're functional. And by shopping below, that helps me out a ton. So use that code, get yourself 15% off. It is time for us to move locations. Daddy's Real Fishing in TRF. Subscribe. Well, I was not recording, but I caught one on Outcast Tackle's finesse jig here. We hadn't gotten any bites on uh, any sort of shad imitation bait, so I switched it up to a jig, and that was the first cast. And this dude is uh, has the need for speed. Look at him. All right, well, that's good to see. First cast. Oh gosh, all these reels that I'm using today are all brand new, so the line on them is not quite spooled right, and the brakes need some work. I like that. I like catching them on a yig. A yiggity yiggity yig. Oh man, still too loose. It's crazy. Saturday. They close for Shabbat. Ooh. Got him? Yep. Oh ho! There's one. Should have brought a net. Nah, it's not a big one. Oh, should have brought a net. <laughs> it's bigger though. Who's a net? You don't need no net. Woo, look at that. Get him in here. Get him on in here. Yes, sir. That's a nice fish. For Travis. That's a nice fish. That was for, bad. For the, dad. Nice job, Dad. I was not trying to downplay your fish. Oh, I know, I know, I know. You just didn't think it needed a net. It, oh. didn't, it didn't need a net. Oh, what a perfect hook. I know, let me get my camera. Look at that. On the underspin? Yeah. With the, with the, what's it called? The Rage Swimmer. <laughs> Beautiful fish. You can put that down. Nice fish, eh? Hey, yeah. All right. This would be a good release. The other one's good. Yeah. All right. Well done. Nice job. Well done, father. He's beaten me two to one. Time to start trying. I guess two to two. two, to two. It's two to two, I guess. It really felt like a, a rock snag. Yeah. Just two inches off the, or two feet off the bank. Interesting. Yeah, right by that bush up there. I wasn't recording, but oh. my dad finally oh, got yeah, one. Yeah, right by those trees. Look at that, right by the trees. Is that a Guadalupe? It's a Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Bring it in the boat. Come on, come on. There you go. That right there is the state fish of Texas. Tell them a random fact about the Guadalupe. They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the Guadalupe, it's a mix between, oh, not a mix of anything. It's actually its own species, but it's a spotted bass mixed with a small mouth is what you can call it. Very, very pretty vertical they, they, lines. They have a little tongue patch. Let's see if you can see a tongue patch in there. Yeah, I can't. A little dark tongue patch. There's right a tongue there. patch, just like a spotted bass. hey -o. Plenty of Guadalupe. All right, well, got that one fish we were looking for. Have a few more minutes of daylight left though. And uh, stop at one of my old stomping ground spots out here that I love to throw swim baits on. And uh, usually I don't like to tell you guys to fish your history because fishing history is not the best thing. But when you don't have a pattern and you only caught four fish doing random stuff, sometimes it's best just to go back on your lake or pond to places you've caught them before and sometimes it works, and today it just did. Not a big one, but it's a fish. My dad is beating me, and I gotta step it up. See as many of those. Oh, oh gosh! I just got hit right there on the end of that tree. I still have him, I think. He might be small. Yep, <laughs> he is tiny. Little guy, little Guadalupe. Almost looks like a smallmouth. 
Look at that. That one's got like smallmouth coloring to him. On the A-Rig with the Outcast Tackle Josh Douglas heads. Some Rage swimmers. Of course, classic spot on the point right here. Always be throwing at points, folks. Fish love points. They love, they love two-pointers, but they really love a good three-point jump shot. All the way up, okay. We are up on the Trey Lore. The Trey Lord of Lords. Oh, beautiful night, absolutely gorgeous. I think our uh, our warm front is ending here. We went through several air, it's cool how air pockets work. I love how like temperature and air, it's, God is good. The fact that he created all of this stuff for us to enjoy and it's so cool to learn about. But I just love like, we drove through hot pocket, cold pocket, hot pocket, cold pocket, and we get back to the ramp and it's like 85 degrees again. So Texas, once again, has some weird weather going on. But as always, it is a great time getting to hang with my dad out in the lake. Him and I don't get to fish very often anymore together. And so the times that we do, we definitely cherish. So if you guys are not a part of Team TRF, please subscribe to this channel. All the tackle that I used in today's video from my dad's underspin, uh, the striking underspin to the jerk bait and the jig that I was using will all be linked below as well as the rod and reel combos. I have some awesome, awesome new content coming out and my new FXR should be here very, very soon as long as this boat sells. And I'll have a full walkthrough and, uh, you know, Know, cover video on exactly what my FXR is like, which one I got, what colors I got. So we'll see you guys on the next episode of TRF.